Hey everybody, Jeff Butts from Mac Observer here. What we're going to look at today is one of the coolest features that is coming in iOS 16, and that is the ability to set yourself a custom lock screen. Uh, not only can you add a wallpaper to your lock screen, which we could do before, but now you can change the appearance of the time, you can change what information is shown, and you can even add widgets. Now there are two ways to get to this, but the easiest way is just to bring up your lock screen and then long press to customize that lock screen. So you long press on your lock screen and you'll get the option to customize or add a new one. Let's start with collections. You can see our depth effect where the image is overlapping the time. You can turn that off if you prefer so that the image is behind all of the text. You can also turn on or off perspective zoom. And you see a plus sign and we'll look at that in a moment. Now looking at another one, here's our astronomy. There's various options here, earth, earth detail, the moon, moon detail, and the solar system. Apple has included a pride wallpaper for your lock screen. Then there's also the color option, which you can change the background color. And you can see the, the gradient, you can adjust the darkness or lightness of it. There's also the unity with a choice of three colors or four. And an emoji, which you can adjust to various grids or a ring or even a spiral. And if you customize that, you can change which emoji it uses. You can have up to six emoji on this screen. And they just alternate like so. Now some other options you have. You've got a people option where you can choose different people you want to show up. Photos, you can choose individual photos, a collection of photos or albums. You can even choose pets if you'd like to have your pet as your lock screen. With Photo Shuffle, you can choose various photos and they will shuffle. You can do it hourly, daily, on tap or on wake. And then there's another emoji option there. Now let's look at the weather. You can see that this one actually animates and it'll show you the current weather conditions where you're at. Back to astronomy, as we saw before. And if you scroll through, you'll see some suggested ones as well as all of the options we looked at before. Now let's take a look at customization. Looking at our color one, we can choose different font styles. And for those of you who have a different number system, you can even choose the Arabic Indic or the Devangari number system. You can adjust the color of the gradient. Various options there. And now we have widgets, which is brand new for the lock screen. Above the time, you can have two different widgets. I've got the day and date, followed by the current weather conditions. Below that, you can have more widgets, depending on what size you choose. I believe you could have up to four widgets here if you choose all small ones. I'm going to put in the battery and uh, current temperature. Scroll down, you can choose from your home with various options there, including climate control, security, lights and switches, a summary, and so forth. You can even go into stocks and you can choose a stock symbol to track on your lock screen. So we'll select that one. And that is 
various options for the color. I'm going to go with vapor, I think. I like that one best. Tap on done. Now you can also set this to a particular focus. So we'll set this so that anytime I go into mindfulness focus, it changes to this particular lock screen. So that is customizing your lock screen in iOS 16. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful for what's coming this fall. Remember, we are still in the beta stages right now, so things may not always work the way we want them to, but uh, Apple gets that cleared up usually by the time it releases the operating system to the public. Uh, one last note is that you can access the lock screen customization from the settings app. You just go to wallpaper and lock screen and the settings are right there. I'm showing you the easiest way to get to it. Please go ahead and like this video if you found it useful. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you get notifications whenever we have a new video posted. Thanks a lot and have a great day.